What is happening guys? Welcome to today's video and today is the day we go back to the club. Alright, so just arrived. Um, if you think DJing life is glamorous, think again because I'm at the backstage door, which is basically where the bins are. So I'm actually a little bit nervous about this live stream. So just to give you some context, I last DJed to a crowd three months ago, beginning of March. The last DJ set that I did was a live stream in this venue two months ago. So I haven't actually done a DJ set in two months, which is a long, long time. And I think it's always natural to be a bit nervous about DJ gigs because if you weren't nervous then you wouldn't care. But more so than that, when you are just DJing to a camera, I have no crowd reaction to, to go by. So I don't know if the people at home, apart from if they're posting on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is, I don't know if they're actually enjoying it. So it's always a little bit more unnerving just DJing to a camera rather than to a crowd. Hey! They're just going through the backstage area now. I'll show you the venue in two secs. So we're just in the club now, AKA the TV studio. It looks so much different to what it did when it was open. What a different place compared to three months ago. We've got computer screens where the DJ would normally be, social distancing screens for the guys. The dance floor is just TV screens, lights, and the decks, cables everywhere. And this is so I can see what's being filmed. And my socially distanced light guy is on the balcony. So the club's finally set up, we are ready to go. Put some drapes over the windows to simulate the night time. It's actually daylight outside. And if anyone's interested, I'm gonna show you how all of this works to bring it live on YouTube. There's Shiv. So you've got the Pioneer Nexus set up here. So to get all the footage, we've got six cameras in total. There's like a moving head one. It's the only way I can describe it really, next to the DJ riser. There's a GoPro just above the decks. One facing directly down onto the decks. A roaming camera, which we've got a cameraman for. Socially distanced, of course. And then two cameras in front of the decks. So the feed comes from the decks onto the stage into the sound desk, which is here. Then, this first computer here controls which camera is active for the stream and then the live camera passes through to this streaming computer which is running touch designer for all of our graphics logos etc and then that goes on to the live stream and the live stream software we use is called live stream and it's as easy as that guys <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what to say. What did I say last time? What's up, guys? Welcome to Ruby. Welcome back to Ruby. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome along to Virtual Flirt 2.0. It's good to see you. It's been a while. You're looking beautiful. Let's do this.
Right, so set done. Not going to lie, it's always hard doing a live stream when you don't have a crowd just because you cannot get a feel for what people like, what people don't like. But always, always have massive love for all the people that get involved. And I think the key to making a good live stream is keeping it interactive, keep engaging with the audience. Anyway, before we finish up the video, I'm going to go back in, check out my mate Shiv set. we have it a little look behind the scenes of the live stream from my friday night residency hope you enjoyed the video if you like this type of thing give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in the next one